for more updates click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications hi friends welcome to tech ark it youtube channel my name is ravi in this video session we are going to see that how to delete a standard partitions and the root account over here okay now if you can see that you have disk uh, l slash tv slash sdb so which uh, actually we already make the standard partitions on the previous session so these are the standard partitions okay some of them we already mounted but uh, actually the service server has been rebooted so the partitions do not mount after the reboot because i did not added any entry on the fs tab to make that permanent mount point so what we have to do here it is that edit slash etc fs tab file and add the entry over here okay the entry is like this okay we have to make the device path first okay slash dv slash uh, mapper you can make the um, device name so what is the device name we have um, created over here that is called uh, sdb1 and the mount point is slash part one and the file system we made is uh, ext4 and uh, so we are not going to specify anything over here so this is called uh, defaults okay and zero place zero okay so later i will tell you i will tell you that what is this default and zero and zero values over here okay for now just um, we are going ahead out of this okay you, now you can type mount iphone a and you can go ahead and see that there is a new partition which is mounted sdb1 over here with the part one so now if i reboot the system also the part one mount point will become automatically so no need to do anything so if i want to remove the partition or the delete the partition or see of the partition how we can do that so first of all edit this fs tab entry over here and uh, comment the line which you would like to remove or delete the line for the um, things now you can just type mount iphone a and see that the partition is still in mount state now you have to unmount them forcefully okay you mount and provide the mount point name so sometimes it will give you the error that somebody is really using the partition you have to verify it uh, using the f user then forcefully kill the users um, sessions then you can unmount the partition now for deleting that what you have to do you have disk slash dv slash sdb and go over here and the print the partitions now for deleting you just type d and say which partition number you would like to delete okay i would like to delete the partition number called one enter and now see that the first partition went out of so for now i am going to delete all the partitions okay we will make the repartitioning again okay so all the partitions has been deleted now wq write and quit from the part that uh, fdisk utility and uh, update the kernel module using the slash dv slash sdb module over here now we can go ahead and see that fdisk open l slash dv slash sdb so there is no partitions exist and now you can go ahead and see that there is no mount mounts okay our partitions all the partitions has been cleared off okay now what we are going to do over here so as of now we permanently removed the permanent mount and uh, removed the partition and deleted and sweeped off okay so that's about for um, removing the partition and cleaning of the partition okay thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses please follow us on social networking sites 
If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.